Okay, so good evening to everybody again. I hope you're doing amazing. Today we have the third speaking session, which is going to be in charge um, of Javier. And Javier, the floor is yours. Good evening. One moment. Teacher, ¿se, ¿se ve la, lo que estoy, lo que estoy No yet. No me sale que, que ya empezaste a compartir, pero a mí todavía no me sale. Uh -huh. So, let's give it a few seconds. Usualmente lo tomo unos segunditos y ya aparece. Uh -huh. eh, Mira, es que al final yo no sé si fui yo, pero me sale la pantalla toda gris. Como sí. con algo distorsionado en el centro. Su función de compartir las pantallas está en pausa. Bueno, sí, sí, porque a mí sí me sale que puedes hacerlo. Voy a, hagamos algo. Voy a deshabilitarlo y lo habilito. Sí. Y listo. Y ya te lo voy a habilitar de nuevo. Listo, sí. ya te lo habilité. You should be able to share your screen now. Sí. Hello. Hello, Aurel. How are you? Fine, thank you. Awesome. Um, Javi, just in case we can see your screen by now, it doesn't appear in the presentation mode, but we can see it. O sea, nos sale como todas las diapositivas, pero sí podemos ver, ya por lo menos veo la pantalla. So that's something. Profe, ¿También? voy a intentar otra vez, es que no me estaba funcionando lo del, lo del volumen, no me lo dejaba activar. Ya, ok, 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 Profe, ¿ahora o no? Yes, we can hear you. We can yeah. hear you. Uh -huh. Todavía no sale en el presentation mode. Sí, hemos las diapositivas, pero digamos, we can hear you now. Y puedo ver la pantalla. So, I think it's, it's getting better. Porque si no, yo se lo, lo envío al grupo. Y usted me lo, me lo comparte. Es que... No, no, pero ahora sí vemos. 
solo Luis. tenés que darle en el, sí, sí, solo tenés que darle en el para ponerte en, en modo presentación, que es en el, en el que trae como un cosito aquí abajito, a la parte de donde está como el zoom. Mm, a ver. ¿Ves abajo donde dice notas y comentarios? O como abajito de la presentación. Ajá, notas, comentarios. Ajá, eh, hay tres, y, hay cuatro iconitos. Dale en el cuarto. Clasificador de diapositivas. El que sigue, el que sigue, o sea, el cuarto. Vista lectura. El que sigue. Ese. Con Ese, ahora sí le das ahí y ya ahora sí ya te va a poner en modo presentación. Ya, ¿verdad? Yes, there you go. Eh, okay, good evening. Eh, my topic is about eh, movies. And I'm going to talk eh, to you first eh, about the eh, history of cinema and its impact on social. Eh, once Uh, technology made it, made it possible to capture images. Uh, the next goal was to capture movies images. Emerged uh, at the end of the 2019 century with the Industrial Revolution, the Lumiere Brothers import, it's important, uh, the Lumiere Brothers World uh, reached the major signs. They were the first theater of appeals in the cinema. Uh, in port, uh, December 2028, um, 1985 was consider considered the first moment in the history of cinema. They uh, decided uh, to have commercial screening of their films at the Grand uh, Coffee on the Boulevard Capuchinis in Paris. They created the Cinematographic Theater. At first, uh, the film was a minute movies. It was involving uh, until uh, today. Uh, what, uh, what a video. On a cold December day in Paris, France, two young men changed the course of movie pictures. At Le Grand Café in the center of Paris, the Lumiere brothers created the first movie theater. They had not only led the way by enhancing the camera of the time, but they had successfully developed a method to project a moving picture onto a large screen. The dawn of cinema had begun, and the Lumiere brothers were leading the way for the legacy yet to come. And the reports of the time were people were just fainting. I mean, there's this, when the train is coming in, people supposedly had, were getting up and running out of the room there, thinking that this train was really coming at them, just caught up in that experience, and it seemed It was something just never seen before. Moving pictures had become a fascination in Europe in the early 1890s. The biggest innovation at the time was Thomas Edison's kinetoscope, which only one person could do at a time. The limitation of film like these gave rise to demand for machines which would project the pictures onto a screen so that they could be seen by a whole room full of people. But projection of films onto a large screen proved to be difficult. Images were often blurry and the projector produced too much noise. These moving pictures and animations were seen as short, crude form of pastime entertainment, not expected to last. But the Lumiere brothers, innovators, inventors, and leaders had a different idea in mind. Their goal was to produce a practical machine with which to develop a new and advanced cinema technology. It was the beginning of 1895, I remember correctly, as I passed by the Rue de la Republic in Lyon. I noticed a shop in which a crowd had gathered to admire the Edison kinetoscope. I joined the queue and charmed by the timed animated images that the machines produced. I thought to myself that if one could project such images on a screen so that they could see by an entire gathering, the impact would be turning. So I decided to study the problem. 
parts of life has remained constant for documentary filmmakers ever since. The shot uh, of the gates of where they are uh, after what they have happened. Actually, there's a yard in the building and the doors open and everybody comes out and then it ends with the doors closing. So there's this sense of um, narration of giving and sending that also occurs um, at that time, but of course, comes in the old by everybody else. Also grasped the leadership from the Lumiers, inspired many others, including George Lumiere. George had seen the Lumiere's camera in action and followed in their footsteps. Originally a stage magician, he used his skills on film to create special effects and impress his audience. But the Lumiere brothers were unassuming. In film, they too began to believe that eventually film was only entertainment. They were scientists, not engineers. Nevertheless, the brothers would stay further research film technology. They developed a color projection method for motion pictures, even experimented and laid the groundwork for 3D film. The Lumiere brothers' innovation and creativity knew trails for way. Brothers and their workers created over 2,000 films, and each of those films inspired viewers to watch them. The brothers left a lasting legacy in the world's biggest industries today. The predecessors in the motion picture industry, like Edison and his Lumiere Brothers took film to a new level and broke open the box. They created innovations that inspired filmmakers to come. Not only George B.A., but also the Lumiere Brothers cameramen began working on their own to create the film. The ideas of the Lumiere's projected a range of technology, methods, techniques, and legacies that were imagined to live on. In the 1970s, the National Panel for Film Festivals held a short film conference where the goal was to promote early cinema. Of these early films were re-examined. Even after the advances of the film industry, this conference was impressed by the art of the Lumiere brothers and other early filmmakers. Contemporary filmmakers continue to study early film because of its techniques, innovation, and even impact on proven timelines. By expanding their supply chain, the brothers gave life to a flourishing industry. The Lumiere started turning the film reel and its film in motion. Okay, uh, now question about uh, video. Um, number one, uh, what were the names of the brother who started the evolution of cinema? Option A, George. Option B, Lucas. Option C, Lumiere. Lumiere. Um, what? C. C. Lumiere. Okay, correct. Correct. Um, import uh, date the history of uh, cinema. Option A. 28 of December at uh, 29 um, A5. Option B. 29 and seven zero, and option C, both. Okay. 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 What? The yeah, number one. Number one, yeah, correct, correct. Um, what is the nationality of the Lumiere brothers? Option A, Italian. Option B, French. Option C, USA. B, French. What? B. B. French. B. Correct. Correct. Um, 
I'm going to thank the uh, you list the of the best action movies cataloged 2023. Um, option, um, bueno, bien, number nine, uh, blonde and gold, spirit in the bed and the west at the end of walls, walls uh, two, number nine, extraction, movie uh, of action and suspense, number eight, the flash, super every movies, number seven, Song the song of freedom, history uh, of gun events, former uh, former government agent turner uh, vigilant of a mission, the rescue hunger of children fox for from uh, sex trafficking. Option six is two. Option number five. Dungeons. And dragons comedy and movie. And number four, the covenant and thriller, killer and action. Number three, guardians uh, of the galaxy. Super every movie. And option two, mission impossible. Uh, option one, John Wick. Chapter chapter. For um, let's watch a video. If you want to know the best action movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2023 so far. Number 10. Blood and Gold, directed by Peter Thornworth. In this bloody Western-inspired showdown thrill at the end of World War II, we follow a deserted German soldier looking for his daughter and a hopeless young woman who, together, dare to try the impossible. As the Nazi squadron is looking for a Jewish treasure, they are the only ones to stand in their way to fight for justice, family, and gold. <laughs> Extraction 2 is an action thriller film directed by Sam Hargrave. The beloved saga continues with breathtaking action after its predecessor burned itself into the memories of modern fans of the genre. Believed dead, but more alive than ever, Tyler Rake is back in the field as a Black Ops operative with a mission. This time, he must save the battered family of a ruthless gangster from the high security prison where they're being held. Flash is a superhero film directed by Andy Muschietti. Coming to change the timeline of the DC Extended Universe, the Flash movie reintroduces beloved heroes to create fan-favorite nostalgia while offering a variety of new to big-screen characters. After accidentally altering the timeline of his universe, Barry Allen must face the demons of his past to set the future right. Number seven, Sound of Freedom, directed by Alejandro Monteverde. Inspired by true events, we follow the thought-provoking story of a former government agent turned vigilante in a daring mission to rescue hundreds of children from sex traffickers. With powerful performances and an urgent narrative, this movie shines an authentic light on one of the darkest criminal horrors of our time, while showcasing unwavering determination and the pursuit of justice. All of a sudden, I'm in by this title. is an action 
action thriller film written and directed by Jelmari Hellender of the war action flick to make you great your teeth. Sisu is named after a Finnish word with no direct translation, defined by unimaginable determination and will in the face of impossible odds. When a gold miner is robbed by a Nazi squadron in the last days of World War II, they will find out who they invest with. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is a fantasy heist comedy film directed by Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly. This irresistibly charming comedy with a heartfelt core entertains franchise fans and newcomers alike. Following a band of dishonorable thieves on the hunt for a mysterious relic, they run afoul of the wrong party, setting them on a hilarious action packed adventure that brings the rich world and playful spirit of a legendary fantasy role playing game to the big screen. thriller film directed by Guy Ritchie. Elevated by a terrific lead and style of its talented director, The Covenant is a war drama about heroism, duty, and defending one's family. Surprising with the dramatic depths of good anti-war movies, the story takes on the Afghan conflict with a local interpreter risking his own life to carry an injured sergeant across miles of grueling terrain. But his actions will have consequences. John Wick, Chapter 4, is an action thriller film directed by Chaz Stahelski, continuing the epic action saga that defined the genre. John Wick, Chapter 4, is a non-stop action ride with masterful crafted fight scenes you won't forget. When the legend finally figures out a way to defeat his greatest enemy, the High Table, he must face off against a new enemy with powerful alliances across the globe and forces that turn old friends into deadly enemies. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. 
If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV. Okay, a uh, uh, question uh, or video. Um, how in the main actor the movie Mission Impossible? Um, number A, Brad Pitt, number B, Will Smith, number C, Tom Cruise. C. Tom Cruise. Okay, correct. Um, okay, uh, in general, they like a uh, movie? A movie? Mm, what movie? What movie? Bueno. Have you seen any of those movies? Um, yes, I have seen someone like Transformers, Sound of Freedom, Mission Impossible, um, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. In my case, I saw a Galaxy, Warden of the Galaxy, and Flash. Okay. In my case, I saw Sound of Freedom and Mission Impossible. In my case, eh, only Mission Impossible. What's that I know? Finish my, pre my presentation, eh, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Javi, for that presentation. Um. Okay, guys, now we're going to go to the book. Please go to page 24, page 24 from the Hello, teacher. What, what is the page? The page is 24. Yeah, thanks. Thermo circle.
ready, teacher. Thank you, Odin. How about the others? Is everybody already in page 24? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Awesome. Okay, so um, in page 24, first we have like um a survey, like a questionnaire for you. It says, how organized are you? So this is very personal. Um, so the idea is that you're able to answer this uh five questions that we have here. Okay. So one says when you have lots of things to do, you have A, B, and C. Two, when you go shopping, A, B, and C. Three, when you meet friends, when you go on vacation, and when you travel by plane or train. So go ahead and answer this based on your point of view. And um, then we're going to share a little bit, okay? This is your personal opinion. Okay. Teacher, only the five questions? Yes, that's it. You already finished? Yes. Awesome. Okay, guys, how about the others? Did you finish with the five questions? Not teacher. No. Okay, don't worry. I'm finished, teacher. Okay, perfect. Eddie, we're going to give some time to Javi. Angelica, how did it go? Did you finish? No, teacher, yo tuve problemas para abrir el libro y hasta ahora me está abriendo. Okay.
fue una pregunta. Tell me. Eh, no me ha dado todavía los resultados del examen. No, what happened is that, um, okay, when we start classes, since we use the same system as tech, it takes some time for the grades to be loaded. The grades, no, the evaluation. O sea, dura como un tiempillo para que nos permita ya nosotros ver las listas y empezar a ingresar notas. Y hasta esta semana no se podía. O sea, no, de hecho yo lo reporté y ya de hecho nos mandaron uno hoy de que se suponía que ya. Entonces tengo que revisar la hora que salga con ustedes a ver si ya puedo verlo para empezar a ingresar todo. Entonces por eso no, no ha salido nada. De hecho yo, yo lo iba a ingresar, ¿cuándo fue? El lunes. Creo que el lunes era que me metí, yo voy a ver si ya está. Usualmente dura como cuatro semanas y el lunes todavía no está. Entonces yo le mandé, yo de hecho como contacté al coordinador y yo le puse como, hey, uh, this is not working yet, what can we do? Porque le llamamos por semana cinco. Este, entonces, pero no se supone, no cuatro, es, no cinco, es las cinco. Sí, entonces, se supone que ya, pero ahora entonces ahora que termine con ustedes, reviso para ver y la esperanza sería agregarlas este fin de. Ok, ok, gracias, profe. Qué hermoso, Marco. Ok, guys, uh, Javi en Angélica, ¿did you finish? Profe, en el caso mío, me, no encontré yeah. la, la página porque yo usé como lento, pero yo, yo me, me guío okay. aquí. Oh, okay, okay. Well, anyway, it's going to be recorded so you can also check later. Um, let's go one by one. When you have lots of things to do. Okay, so A, B, or C, which one did you select? Let's see, um, Eddie. Eddie, which one did you select? Um, C, you put them in your phone or on your calendar. Okay, 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 okay. That is very good. In my case, I do A. I love having like to-do list. If I have a to-do list, then I can cross it and I can organize it. Like if, if I don't write them down, I don't do them. Like I forget. But if I write them down, I'm like faster to do them. It's very interesting. Okay, Franklin, how about you? A, B, or C? I put on my phone. <laughs> Number okay. C. Yes. Okay, okay. Like a notes, I, mm -hmm. I put in notes, yeah. That is very good. Um, let's see, Abril, how about you? Mm, see, you put them in your phone or your calendar. Yo soy el único viejillo que no lo hace así. <laughs> Angelica, let's see. Angelica, you hacer lo mismo. Angelica, A, B, or C, which one did you select? Sí. Sí, ven, yo soy Vamos a ver. Okay, Javi, you don't have it, right? Profe, bueno, este, creo que ya, ya encontré. Opción C, en mi caso. Sí, es el viejito que las escribe. Then in your phone, ¿verdad? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Ok. Sí, no. Lo ponen recordatorios y eso lo pone al, al inicio, digamos, como en la pantalla. Entonces, uh -huh. está, está viendo constantemente y después le pone check cuando ya lo hace. <laughs> Um, I have never done it like that. Just because I'm my viejito and my technology and everything. But I don't, I don't, I never done it like that. In my case, I always, de hecho, y hasta yo tengo iPad. O sea, I have an iPad and I still write. Yo meto notas y yo lo escribo con el lápiz y yo lo voy subrayando cuando yo lo tengo listo. De hecho, cuando fue el lunes, creo que era que tenía mucho que hacer. Entonces, hice como like a to do list. I wrote everything. And with the moment that I finished, I was highlighting, highlighting. The jazz is como la forma. I've never done them like that. Uh, what I do in my phone is my agenda. So everything that I have, I put it on my phone like that. Like if I have a class, for example, with, with you, I put it there. If somebody asks me for like extra class, like tutoring or something, I put it there. So those are the things that I do. And especially medical appointments. Medical appointments, I do write them on my phone. So, yes, but the rest I usually don't. I don't know. Probably my age. Remember, I'm old. Okay, number two. When you go shopping. Okay, Angelica. A, B, or C? A. Um, you sometimes have uh, this. A list. I do have it. I love having a list. Well, when I go to the supermarket, I love having a list. Um, let's see. Abril, A, B, or C? C. You decide what to buy when you get there. I can't. I hate that. 
It's because I buy a lot. I end up buying like double. Like I was going to get something and I say like, oh, this one looks good. And that that bread mm, and that those cookies. So I end up buying lots of things. So I don't like doing that. But it's it's valid. Eddie, how about you? Um, See, you decide what you buy when you get there. But if I go to the supermarket, I have a list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. think it depends because for... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because for example, if I if I wanna know, let's say what watch a movie with you, then we go together and I say, okay, what what do you wanna eat? Like what snacks? So that we we choose once we get there, like we make those decisions already in the supermarket. But if it's grocery shopping, like I'm gonna buy food, like for the rest of the week or the month, um, I usually create a list, especially because I usually forget things that I need. So. Um, okay, I'm missing Javier and Franklin. Franklin, go for it. And um, number eight, uh, sometimes I have a list. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Javi, how about you? Okay, well, in case, uh, option B, you always uh, have a list. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Javi. Okay, let's go for four. Uh, let's start with Franklin. Franklin, when you go, no, sorry, three, when you meet friends, A, B, or C? A. You're, uh huh. Uh huh. Sometimes arrive before you. So you are a late um, comer. Yes, uh, sometimes I have problems with the time. <laughs> okay. Eddie, how about you? Um, A. Your friends sometimes arrive before you. <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay. Um, Javi. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Your friend, your friends, your friends sometimes arrive before you. Observe. Okay. Um, Abril. Oh, me. You are usually the first to arrive at the restaurant because oh. the feeling of being late stress me. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay, 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 good. Um, if it's with my friends, it doesn't stress me that like it doesn't stress me that much. But if it's like work, oh, I hate it. For work, I hate it. I don't like being late. But if it's my friends, it's like, I mean, like they could wait a little bit. Like they're not gonna kill me. I try to be on time though, but if I can't, all good. Uh, and Angelica, how about you? Hey, your friends sometimes arrive before you. I think well, in that one, most of us agree. Okay, number four, when you go on vacation, Javi, A, B, or C? Number four. Uh huh. Um, you have a list? of what uh, to take and start packing a few days before. Okay, wow, that's very good. Okay, Franklin, how about you? Yes, no, no, number B, I think, I don't know. Letter B? Yeah, letter B. You have a list of what to take and start packing a few days before. I don't know, because I, I, I I don't want to forget anything on vacations and I pack in at days before. Okay, no, that's actually very, very good. Okay, uh, let's see. Eddie, Eddie, how about you? Um, see, you look through your wardrobe and pack the night before you go. Okay. I I do a little bit of that, so I get it. Okay, um, Angelica. See, you look through your wardrobe and pack the night before you go. Awesome. And Abril, how about you? Uh, C. Two. You look through your wardrobe and pack the night before you go. Oh, I thought you were going to say actually like the one that you have it uh, like a few days before. No, I, I usually do it also the night before. Like it's easier, I think. If not, I'm going to stress out and choosing everything. So... 
And last but not least, number five, when you travel by plane or train, but we don't have train here like to go from one country to another, but when you travel by plane or train, um, let's see, Angelica, A, B, or C. B, you usually arrive at the recommended time. Good. Okay, Javi. Okay. Um, usually arrive at the recommended time. Okay. okay. Um, let's see. Ardil. Uh, B, usually arrive at the recommended time. Okay, um, let's see, Franklin. Um, number uh, letter A. You arrive at the airport or train station a long time before you really need to be there. Okay, and um, and Angelica, is what I'm missing. No, Eddie, Eddie is what I'm missing. Okay, Eddie, and you? B, you usually arrive at the recommended time. Mm -hmm. In my case, I would say it's also B. I don't like to be there like too early, but not like too late either. So like something in between. Okay, very, very good. Um, Guys, very quick. I think we have a preposition part there, but I think we had already done this. Can you correct me if I'm wrong? Okay, let me share my screen. There is a preposition part, but I feel like we already did it. This one. We had already done this one, right? Wait, it's gonna appear on the screen in a second. This one, right? We had already done it. Um, yes. Okay, yes, because I was like, I didn't know I was like, did I do it with the other group? So no, it was with you. Awesome. Okay, very, very good. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna move to the following page to page 25 and in page 25th um at the top of the page well at the top of the image not the page you are going to see this one that says g page 130 grammar bank 3b so please click on it and it will take you to this other page that you see on the screen Ready. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna talk about uh 3B, which is present continuous for future arrangements. Okay, so pretty much is using present continuous to talk about the future. So let's read what it says over here. It says we use the present continuous with a future meaning, especially for future arrangements. For example, for plans we have made at a fixed time or place in the future. Don't use a simple present for this, okay? And be going to or present continuous. We can often use either with no difference in meaning. For example, I'm going to see Anna on Tuesday or I'm seeing Anna on Tuesday. It's very common to use, wait, let me erase that part. Okay, it says, um, sorry. It's very common to use present continuous with the expressions tonight, tomorrow, this weekend, etc., and with verbs describing travel arrangements. For example, give me one second, because I think my dog is outside. Sorry.
Sorry, it was like my dog was outside, so I was calling her for a second. Okay, so um, where was I? Okay, so again, it's very common to use present continuous with expressions tonight, tomorrow, this weekend, and with verbs describing travel arrangements. For example, go, come, leave, arrive. I'm leaving on Monday. It's more common that I'm going to leave on Monday. Okay, so pretty much in a nutshell, what this is saying is, that we can use present continuous using a time marker to refer to the future. For example, you can say, I am seeing, I don't know, uh, my best friend this weekend, okay? So even though you're saying this in present continuous, the moment that you include this weekend, tonight, tomorrow, this Friday, or something, it's telling me that it is not happening right now, as present continuous usually works, but that it is happening in the future, okay? The structure is the same as present continuous, so you're going to need a subject, uh, the verb be, and the verb with ing, okay? Questions? Or oh, let's look at the examples in case they have any questions. Um, I'm seeing an old friend tonight. She's arriving at lunchtime. She isn't living until Friday. They aren't coming to the party tomorrow. What are you doing this evening? Is she meeting us at the restaurant? Okay. Now, questions. Do you have any questions? Clear. Clear. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see about that. Okay. Uh, please go to page 131. And in page 131, let's complete exercise 3B, parts A and B. Okay. And the idea is that we can check it together. Teacher, sorry, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Perdón, es que me estaba haciendo un café. Uh, we are working in page 131, uh, the grammar practice for 3B, parts A and B. Ok, ok.
Teacher, solo esas partes, ¿verdad? Yes, that's the only thing. Did you finish? Sí, yes. Awesome. Guys, how about you? Did you finish? How about the others? No, teacher. Okay, don't worry. We can give you a few more seconds. I'm finished. Perfect. Thank you for letting me know, Angie. Eddie, did you finish? No, teacher, pero di, si quieren, continúan. Ahí yo los voy alcanzando. How many are you missing? Um, me falta eh, la parte B. Okay, okay. So, no, let's, I can give you like one or two more minutes. And then we can... Me está costando. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, Javi, how did it go with you? Did you finish already? Okay, it's the... La parte B, ya también la, la hice nada más estudio dos. No okay. Puedo, okay, let's just give one or two more minutes to Eddie so she can finish and then we check together, okay? Eddie, please let me know as soon as you finish, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you.
Hey, Eddie, you're taking quite some time, so I think we're going to have to start checking. Yeah, teacher, ya terminé, ya acabo. Okay, awesome. awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and check. So um, we're going to start with part A, complete the definition. No, wait, read the sentences right. And for now or F for future. The first one says, I'm meeting Joe at two o'clock, which means that it's future. Okay, number one, Franklin. Read this the entire statement and tell us if it's the way. O sea, no era la parte 3A y 3B. La 3A es que, ah, bueno, es que vos no estuviste la vez pasada. La 3A ya la habíamos hecho. De ahí, con razón duré toda la vida. Yo estaba haciendo eso. Pero ve al lado positivo, ya lo hice y no tiene que hacerlo porque ya la habíamos hecho. Con razón duré tanto, sí. Bueno, sorry. Ah, que extraño, pero it's, it's good. Ok. Ok, uh, 3B, Franklin. Uh, part A, number one. I am living in an apartment with two college friends, and it's now. Correct. Uh, number two, Angelica. We're coming back on Monday F. Correct. Uh, three, uh, Javi. Okay. Um, she's moving to Canada next month. Mm -hmm. yep. F, correct. Just in case, Canada. The pronunciation, it's Canada. It, the mm -hmm. accent goes at the beginning. Ca, Canada. Okay. Uh, number four, Ari? Uh, I'm waiting for the mail carrier. It is for now. Correct. Uh, the next one, Eddie? Now um I'm waiting for the mail no, carrier. That's a four, it would be number five. Ah, okay. I'm now I well, I'm reading a really good book about science. Perfect, thank you. Number six, Franklin. Uh, we're meeting Alicia and Kenzie for lunch on Sunday. It's special. Perfect, thank you. Um Ariel number seven. Hey, Carl is arriving at six o'clock. Is fitter. Correct. Eight, Angelica. No, I'm studying for my math exam. Correct. Um, just in case, studying, not studying, but sta studying. Okay, thanks. You're most welcome. Uh, number nine, Javi. Okay, uh, Joanne. Listening, uh, the what inside in mm -hmm. now, correct. And I'm missing one. Who is it? Is it you, Franklin, or Eddie? Eddie, okay, Eddie. Um, okay. Future are they living in the morning? Perfect, thank you. Um, any questions with this part, guys? Any concern? No, teacher. Right, Only uh, que tengo una duda, pero es del otro tema. O sea, de río. Okay, okay. We can answer that as well. Okay, uh, let's go for part B. Complete the conversation between two roommates with verbs in present, continue, in the present continuous. What are you doing? Um, The first one, Angelica. Um, I'm taking, taking this. Hacking. Packing my suitcase. Perfect. Why, Abril? Because I'm flying to Sydney at eight o'clock tonight. Seattle. ¿Cómo, cómo? Seattle. Okay. Thank you. You're almost welcome. That's the name of the state. Um, the next one, Eddie. Oh. Um. Oh, I didn't know. Why are you, why are you going to Seattle? Thank you. Next one, Javi. I'm meeting uh, the bus of uh, VTech. VTech, uh -huh. bus. And um, when the T is in a position that is not stressed, it can be flat. ¿Qué es eso en términos más cristianos? Cuando la T está en una posición que no es, no lleva, eh, no tiene la tilde, digamos, o no tiene el acento, 
se puede hacer como un flat T, que es como, suena como una R. Entonces, para no decir meeting, se puede decir meeting. Ok. A menos de que quieras sonar como más británico, como the meeting, the meeting, where I'm meeting, that would be different. And then, okay. yes. Um, ok, the next one, Abril. Uh, why are you seeing him? Thank you. And Franklin, I think Franklin, you have not participated, so you can do number six. And he's working on a project with me right, right now, and we need to discuss, discuss it. Mm -hmm. Discuss it, correct. Oh, well, discuss. have a good trip. Okay, um, Eddie, you said you had a question with part A, so tell me. Um, las pre es que se me enredan las preguntas que son de WH porque ahí no viene ningún ejemplo. Ok. Entonces, por ejemplo, la de la 3A, la 2, no supe, cómo, no supe cómo hacerla. O sea, ya la puse de todas formas y me la pone mala. ¿Cómo de queda la, eso? De la 3A, la 2 de la parte, o sea, la parte A. Sí, porque para mí es... Ah, yo puse, we aren't going to go, pero no sé si uno puede poner going to go. Sí, de hecho, going to go es la forma perfecta. Si vos me decís, we are going, eso de hecho no es, no es futuro de be going to, eso es futuro de presente continuo, como este que estamos viendo ahora. El we aren't going to go is the correct answer. Qué raro, entonces, ¿por qué me la pone mala? Pusiste el aren't con apóstrofe. sí. Entonces no tengo idea porque si es we aren't going to go. Sí, es así. Y la segunda parte de la dos es we're, es así con apóstrofe. We, apóstrofe, are, o sea, como uh -huh. going to stay. We're sí, going sí. to stay in a okay. hotel. Tell me, Javi. Okay. Esa, la, la tres, la, la, la tres, ah, digamos, esa, la que está, creo que me está dando la Erika, es es que no, no, la, no la entendí bien. Es, we're going to go. We aren't going to go. We are going to go. No, are, aren't. O sea, negativo. El are va negativo. Aren't. Ok, ok, aren't. Uh -huh. En, Eddie, ¿cuál otra duda tenías? No, no, solo eso, que las preguntas de WH como que se me enredan un toquecillo, pero... No, yo tengo otra, otra duda. Pero creo que nada más ponerle el are o el is. No. Yes. De la misma, con la misma estructura. Exactly. Pero, pero, Javi, Javi. En la, en la, en la cuarta A, es, esa no, no, le, no, la, no la puede hacer bien. En la cuarta, la de a taxi. We, eh, we, we, no. we, no sé qué. Pero estás, ok, perdón, estás en la 3A, la parte A. En la 3, en la, en la, en la, en la 3, en la parte B. Esa misma, la que sigue después de esa que está hablando. Ok, ajá. ¿Cuál cuarta? En la de las imágenes. We, dice... We, no sé qué. Pero es la de las, las que trae como cuatro imágenes. Mm, es que estábamos ahorita como la, con la 3A, ¿verdad? La, ter, la tercera A en la, en, la, en, la, en la conversación, digamos. Oh, I did, didn't come to you. La que sigue. Claro, será la que dice you are going to be in level 3 next year. Um, bueno, eh, no, 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 decime porque lo importante aquí es, es que, que, es que está, 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 de esa que estamos hablando ahorita, que está uh -huh. que de esa, sigue la, la otra, la, 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 sigue la, bueno, la B, que hay, hay meeting, no sé qué, la que yo dije, ¿verdad? Y después dice la we. Ah, ok, ya entendí. No, ya entendí. Vos no estás en la parte de la 3A, estás en la 3B, en la parte B. Esa, esa. Ya me ubiqué, ok, okay sí, ya entendí. Ok, sí. sí, no es we, se pronuncia why. Why? Ajá, uh, why are you seeing him? El sí va okay. con la doble E y con ING. Why are you seeing him? Ahora sí. You're most welcome. Okay, hey guys, any more questions, any more concerns, any more doubts? Nope, yes, maybe? Nope, nope, teacher. Okay, awesome. So what we're going to be doing right now is the following. Um, I'm going to, okay, let me send you this very quick. Wait. 
No, no, no. There's no need to send you anything. What we're gonna be doing is the following: you are you um you are going to create um. Let me see how many. Let's do four. Only four questions. You are going to create four questions using present continuous, but referring to the future. Okay, so you can use this week, tonight, tomorrow, this Sunday, whenever you want. You're going to create four questions, okay? Only write those four questions at the moment. So please go ahead and write those questions so we can use them. Okay? Teacher, yo me estoy acordando. ¿Ah? Que usted, me acuerdo, es que me acabo de acordar de algo. Que sí, usted nos dejó una tarea la semana pasada. Oh, the one of the years of the text. Que era como de... The story. Yo la tengo aquí escrita, de hecho. Era de... The story. Que, I think. Ajá. Sí, la, la como el, de la, una historia como que para en, en ya no me acuerdo qué es en future o No, I think it was the simple past. Ajá, pasado simple, perdón, sí. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, guys, did everybody did it? I know Abril did it because I think I got a message from her. Eddie, you did it. Who else did it? Me. Thank you, Angelica. Frank and, and Javi, were you able to do it? What part, teacher? No, it was not a part. It was a homework. You were supposed to write in a story using simple past. Okay, so we're going to start presenting for the ones that actually uh, were able to create it. So we have Angelica, Abril, and Eddie. Who wants to go first? Javi, did you do it? I didn't ask you, sorry. Pero está preguntando por la historia. Ajá. Yo es que yo sí la, yo sí me acuerdo que la hice, pero estoy buscando aquí mis apuntes y no, no la encuentro. Okay, keep looking and if you find it, let me know, okay? Si la encuentras, me dices. Um, okay, ladies, who wants to start? Who wants to volunteer? Volunteer as tri tribute, as in the Hunger Games. Yo, teacher. Thank you, Eddie. Es que, ¿Ah? esta, esta historia yo la escribí, basan, o sea, la escribí hace como 15 días, entonces estoy basándome en algo que pasó hace como 15 días, ¿verdad? Okay, perfect. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, my story is about what, what I did on the weekend. Um, I was in San Jose with my boyfriend last weekend. The reason for the trip was because he had a race called the BMW Lindora Run on Sunday. We stayed at the Aloft San Jose Hotel. On Saturday, we arrived in the afternoon, so we took the opportunity to go to the movies to see the film called The Marvels at the Cinepolis. Our dinner was at Olive Garden because we love pasta. On Sunday, the race was at 5.15 a.m. So we we were we were already up at 4.13 a.m. Uh, and went. After the race, we had a breakfast at the hotel and we went in search of lunch and shoes a smash burger because we love hamburgers and we also went to multiplaza for a while for an ice cream and finally stopped by price mart for someone for some shopping before heading back to san carlos that's it thank you very good did you like the movie the marvels was it good yes it was. Okay, it's because I want to watch it. I haven't watched it yet, but I want to watch it. I really like Marvel. So now that you mentioned, I was like, I'm going to ask to see if it's good. I love Marvel. I think it's great. It, I don't love DC. I love Marvel. I seen DC. It was better. And now it's not so good in my mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's go with Abril. Abril, you ready? Yes. Okay, go for it. I have a mystery history. The name is The Real Danger. I 
had been running not a stop in the forest for one hour. The cold and gloomy weather impressed me. I was completely lost and my clothes were worn out. I decided to call my mother for help. While the phone was ringing, waiting for the call, I could see the people walk away as if they were running away from something or someone. My mother finally answered, but in a very desperate tone, she told me, Where are you? Did you see the news? They say they, they, say they found a dangerous murder in the Kennedy forest. At the moment, I was paralyzed. And without being able to say anything, I ended, I ended the call. I understand that everything was lost and I couldn't continue running away from my actions. So I just wait for them to come from me to make me pay a lot of prison sentence. So you were the murderer? Yes. Oh my God. I love it. I, I th it was really cool and I, it gave me this kind of um Victorian book vibes like Dracula, Frankenstein it, this type of vibes, very very good amazing, thank you Abril um, thank you you're most welcome, Angelica uh, you ready? yes, um, yo hice mi historia de algo que pasó ya hace unos meses y fue lo primero que se me ocurrió it's fine, don't worry, go for it um, when my dog had an accident and we had to put her to sleep. In May um, 2023, as we open as my 13 dog, a 13 years old dog, she was convulsing in after being tra tragically <laughs> run over, tears streaming down our faces as we gently comforted her during those hair breaking moments, the vet administered the injection, and in the midst of the pain, a sense of peace gradually settling over her in her final moments. So, on by love, she passed sleep it away, leaving us with sharing memories of the years. We had shared. Oh, that is so sad. I'm I'm really sorry that you went through that because that must have been heartbreaking. Um, so I'm sorry. It was good. The story was great. It, it was, but it was still heartbreaking. So I'm sorry. <laughs> um, very very good. Thank you, Angelica. Um, Javi, did you find it? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Okay, my story is about a trip to Monteverde. Uh, my experience experience uh, they they was spectacular. The climate uh, the climate is phenomenal because of how cool it is because of the mountain mountains and because of the low temperature. I went in a year ago and took a hike. Uh, to the national park there. <clears throat> I also uh, went to take the handy birthday tour. Uh, they, there is a spectacular Buddha garden. Uh, I also uh, went to take a parts. It's a beautiful hike. <clears throat> Uh, there are several waterfalls along the route, some uh, large uh, than others. The name Tiger is because a tiger lived in the area for some time. I stayed in a cabin. It was very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Um, very quick, very quickly. Um, climate. The climate is, is cool. No, no, but no. The, I was talking about the pronunciation. Climate. Ah. It, um. Temperature. Temperature in mountain. Oh, for mountain, you can say mountain 
or you can make a glottal sound where the T is pr uh, produced here. So you can say mountain or mountain, mountain or mountain or mountain. Sorry, okay. I did it again. Those are two possibilities. Either the mountain where the T is produced in a glottal uh, position or it can be just mountain. Okay. And mm -hmm. quick, um, quickly, butterfly. Like okay. the butterfly uh, garden. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Harry. Um, so let me see. No, that was very good. Um, Franklin, by any chance, do you have it? Yes, I have a short story about last year. Um, last year, I was in activity for children in poverty. All the years we did, we do that activity. Um, we collect um, 250 gifts for them. Uh, the activity, it was in Upala, near to the border with Nicaragua. And that day uh, we played, we danced and enjoyed uh, that day. And at the kid time, a child, uh, he couldn't go to the activity because he was um, in a, a baseball tournament. And, and we had like a family gift or that gift left. And surprisingly, I, I don't know the gift, was a baseball bat and a baseball glove. I think it is a very love story <laughs> in in this activity. Thank you. That was it, right? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, guys. So now I need you to create the four questions that I told you about. Okay. Four questions using present continuous to refer to the future. For like, for example, what are your plans? for this coming weekend. And like this, not only using plants, of course, using different verbs, um, using present continuous and time markers, meaning those small words that you use to refer to the future. Okay? Only four. That's what you, you only to create, not answer, only to create four questions that you can ask another person. Teacher, las preguntas tienen que ser en esto que estamos viendo, present, continuous, and future. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Aquí.
Okay, how did it go? Did you finish? Teacher, dijiste que tiene que ser eh, para futuro. Exactly, using present continuous for uh, future. Okay. I'm finished. Thank you, Angelica. How about the others? Okay, don't worry. You finished, Harry? Yes. Awesome. I'm ready, teacher. Thank you, Ariel. Eddie um, and Franklin, how did it go? I'm finished. Thank you. Frank, I'm finished, teacher. Awesome. Okay, guys. So it's already 8, so we're going to stop right here so you can go and have uh, dinner. And on Tuesday, we're going to use these questions. So don't lose them. Make sure that you write them there on your notebook or on your phone. Now that you keep everything on your phone, because we're going to use them uh, this coming Tuesday, okay? Um, 
without any further ado, I hope you have an amazing uh, evening, an amazing weekend. Take care. And I'll see you this coming um, Tuesday. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care.